Hi, this is Miss Amy from Amy's Studio. We're going to be reading a new book today. This is I Dreamed I Was a Ballerina, a girlhood story by Anna Pavlova, illustrated with art by Edgar Degas. This is from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Vivid are my earliest recollections, which take me back to the time when I was living in a little apartment with my mother in the city. I was the only child, and my father having died two years after my birth, we too were alone in the world. We were very poor, very poor indeed. And yet, my mother would never fail to provide, on special occasions, a surprise for me, in the shape of some sort of treat. I can still remember my enthusiasm when on one birthday, I heard we were going to celebrate by going to see a performance at the theater. I had never yet been to the theater and I plied my mother with questions in order to find out what kind of show it was that we were going to see. Can you tell by the picture what they might be going to go see? Do you see the costumes they're wearing? She replied by telling me the story of Sleeping Beauty, a favorite of mine among all fairy tales, and one which she had already told me countless times. When we started for the theater, I felt unspeakably happy beside my mother, her arm tenderly enclosing my waist. You are going to enter fairyland, she said. And as we were being whirled across the darkness toward the theater, that mysterious unknown. The music of The Sleeping Beauty is by our great Tchaikovsky. As soon as the orchestra began to play, I became very grave and attentive, eagerly listening, moved for the first time in my life by the call of beauty. Do you see the musician? What instrument is he playing? But when the curtain rose displaying the golden hall of a wonderful palace, I could not withhold a shout of delight. And I remember hiding my face in my hands when the old hag appeared on stage in her car driven by rats. In the second act, a swarm of youths and maidens appeared and danced a most delightful waltz. How would you like to dance thus? asked my mother with a smile. Oh, I replied, I should prefer to dance as the pretty lady who does who plays the part of the princess. One day I shall be the princess and dance upon the stage of this very theater. My mother muttered that I was her silly little dear and never suspected that I had just discovered the idea that was to guide me throughout my life. Here's a picture of a little tiny ballerina just learning to dance. Oh, this is one of my favorites. This is all the ballerinas with the ballet master at the rehearsal hall. When we left the theater, I was living in a dream. During the journey home, I kept thinking of the day when I should make my first appearance on the stage in the part of Sleeping Beauty. That very night, 
I dreamed that I was a ballerina and spent my whole life dancing like a butterfly to the sounds of Tchaikovsky's lovely music. I love to remember that night. And here is a picture of the real Anna Pavlova. So she was a real ballerina. She was born poor in a suburb of St. Petersburg, Russia in 1881, and she was inspired to enter the ballet after seeing a performance of Sleeping Beauty at the theater with her mother. At the time, the public favored athletic Italian ballerinas, so young Anna's weak feet and scrawny body were not considered promising. However, after several years of practicing and waiting, Pavlova was finally admitted to the Imperial Ballet School. I think it's important to note that hard work and dreams will pay off. She was not the ideal ballerina, and yet she had a wonderful career on the stage. Let's look at a picture of her in one of her costumes from Swan Lake. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you so much for joining me today for this story. We'll have many more to come, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye for now.